Virgo, hello, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your July shift reading. So we are looking at the shape you're shifting out of in July, the shape you are shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like. So Virgo, before we get into your cards using the golden tarot here, the image that came to me as I was meditating on your energy for July is the image of a spider web. And it's interesting because there was whispers of this image in a previous month. I don't remember if it was May or June, maybe, but there was an image that I got a couple months back um, about like Charlotte's web. And the image that I got this month for you in July is specifically honing in on the web itself and on the spider weaving its web, which is an energy that I often associate with Virgo energy because it's like the weaver of the web, the one whose hands are busy creating and making and doing and, and like creating this very um, practical home space and network and safety net for yourself. Okay, so there's that energy there. But more specifically, I saw the, the fact that the spider starts in the center, you know, like first, like I'm trying to think about how a spider weaves, weaves a web. And it's like, first you have to have your tethers, you know, like your anchor points on the branches. So there needs to be this sort of big picture plan about how the web is going to lay out. And then it's like, once you've got the big picture anchor points, then you can come in and you can start in the center. And this like honed in specific focal point, which is like more Virgo energy to me is this ability to really hone in on something and focus and get that center point nice and solid. And then from there, the weaving of the web go, becomes bigger. The spaces between the threads are wider and wider and wider. And then you reach those, the, the outside border of that, those anchor points. And before you know it, you've got this really robust network, this really robust web that all started with the big picture, having the big picture in mind with the anchor points and then honing right on in on the center point. So I think there's something for you there, Virgo, in whatever it is that you are weaving, creating, trying to do, zoom out, get the anchor points in place and then hone in on the center focus. What is the center focus? Get that nice and solid and then build out from there. This could be anything from trying to widen your social network to expanding things on the web, you know, your communications or your business or something on the web, or this could be, even be like setting up home for yourself or, or um, making a long-term plan, okay? That there's lots of ways that this image could be applicable to you. I like it, it's good. You know, also we can't ignore the fact that I also associate spider energy with the high priestess. You know, there is something very intuitive, very psychic, very spiritual about spider energy. Often like when a spider visits me in a particular way where I feel like, whoa, that spider is right in my face or like right in my experience, I feel like it is some deeper messaging speaking to me. So that's another kind of underlying association with the spider web for me. All right, let's get into your cards. We're going to start by asking, what is the shape you are shifting out of in July? What is the shape Virgo is shifting out of in the month of July? Well, that was fast. And it goes exactly along with what I saw in the beginning. Okay, we have the Three of Wands. So in the tarot, the Three of Wands talks about planning for the future, which is just like wild to me. It talks about getting up to a high point, looking out over the horizon and being able to see, like anticipate what is coming in the future, anticipate what comes next for you, or maybe like look out and have a long-term vision so that you can 
put plans in place for the future. This is like the visioning phase of the future. Perhaps, my friend, you are you are moving out of the visioning phase of something because this is the shape you're shifting out of. Sometimes people talk about this energy as waiting for your ships to come in. So if that is applicable to you, maybe it's like you've been waiting for some sort of catalyst to get things kicked off for you. And maybe here it is. Let's get more information. What is the shape Virgo is shifting into in July? What is the shape that Virgo is shifting into? in july yeah exactly three of coins three of wands to the three of coins it's a natural progression from the planning phase into the doing phase like it's simple as that i love this for you i love this for you my dear weaver we start with the three of wands the planning phase the visioning phase looking out into the future it's interesting a bee just came in here Busy bee, Virgo, busy bee. Spiders and bees, what's up? And just as quickly as it came, it left. Oh, no, it's back. <laughs> you can probably hear it. Okay. Looking out to the future, the planning phase, and here's the building phase. All right, we're getting to work. We're rolling up our sleeves. We're working together. Maybe this is collaborating with others. Doesn't have to be, but it's like these folks are all working together, playing their roles in building something that is very balanced. You know, the three talks about balance for me, alignment, harmony, mind, body, spirit, all in one, you know, triple goddess, holy trinity, like all of those um, metaphors for, you know, and, and a triangle, which is three points, three sides is one of the strongest shapes and so there's something here about working to build something very strong and isn't it interesting too in the beginning when i was talking about the spider web i kept gesturing and in my mind i was picturing three anchor points i wonder what that's about virgo i bet that's like a specific message for someone that there are three anchor points and even in this even in this um card we show someone building this working on this but there are three women down here working together there's three anchor points three anchor points i mean it could just be like the anchor points of mind body spirit or maybe like a strong group of people that you work with or collaborate with or it could be three places that anchor you something about that Wow. So, okay. Basically what I'm trying to say is you're shifting out of the planning phase into the building phase. This is exciting, Virgo. It's time to get the hands dirty. It's time to start, you know, you've planned how the web's going to go and now you're beginning to weave. So let's look at what this shape shift looks and feels like for you in July. What does this shape shift look and feel like for Virgo in the month of Secret flipper. Ooh, we got a lot of cards. Wow. Three cards just flipped up all at once and I almost missed it. Plus the Knight of Swords came out as well. So we got a lot of cards going on here, Virgo. Um, all major arcana. Let me show you this. This must be something really, really major going on in your life right now. A major shift. This is what your shift looks and feels like. The Hermit, the Hierophant, the Fool. First of all, the Hermit over here with the deer, that's your energy. That's your card, Virgo, this is you. And what's interesting in the spread See if I can hold this up for you to see. The Hierophant and the Hermit are looking at the planning phase. They're looking over at the Three of Wands. 
okay? Whereas, okay, let me just do that. Whereas the fool is looking towards the building phase. So there's this clear delineation for me that, that sometime in July, July perhaps begins to feel like this really palpable shift between the bigger picture planning, maybe even like a more um, isolated phase for you of like solo planning or planning on your own or doing your own, you know, s internal work around the like spiritual goal here or the or the higher perspective of what exactly you want this to look like whatever this is that you're planning for and then there's a very strong shift with the fool where the drum begins to beat to put those plans into motion you know it's like and I think it's putting those plans into motion quite quickly because the Knight of Swords also came out. This is the fastest moving energy in the tarot. All right, I, I, it's like, I see this as this knight is slaying demons and I'm kind of seeing that as like you slaying a little bit here, Virgo. You know, it's kind of like, you're just like, ooh, that's an obstacle, whoosh. Oh, that's an obstacle, whoosh you know, which like bodes pretty well, frankly, for a July that starts off with the final eclipse of eclipse season on July 5th, Capricorn lunar eclipse, full moon eclipse, all right, to end the three eclipses that we've been going through in June. And also Mercury going retrograde, you know, so Mercury being retrograde through July, it's like this energy of like, oh, okay, no problem. Boom, I got this, boom, I got this. I'm moving forward. My plans are moving swiftly, decisively. I'm solid in my truth. I am unafraid and I'm going for it. This is energy of going for it for sure. So Virgo, I'm gonna say this. If there's any kind of, I, I, the only, I'm feeling a little bit of reticence potentially, because just as I said, I'm going for it. I also felt a part of you that feels associated with the Hermit and the Hierophant being like, mm, it's much more comfortable to be in the planning phase for some people, you know, like it's much more comfortable to be like mapping everything out than it is to actually you know, once you begin to get your hands dirty and put the plans in motion, it starts feeling really, really real. You know, it's like, oh, wow, this is real. This is really happening. For some of us, it's a little more comfortable to stay in this phase of, um, you know, these are both really spiritual cards, the hermit, which is sort of like this monk figure, you know, like this earth, earthly energy of the magician, you know, the magician incarnate, the hermit that kind of stays in their hermit cave. They, they do a lot of lone wolf type energy. They talk to their animals. They talk to the plants. They're just in their own space and they're envisioning and imagining in, in their head. And it's interesting that the Hierophant is here because it's sort of speaking to me of the messages coming from societal authorities like specifically societal norms because the hierophant here is representing the church the church you know the pope the church as this like presiding body over what is normal or what is right or what the law is like there's something around <clears throat> com there's something familiar in and comfortable in sticking with societal norms um, or doing what people in your life, parental figures, societal figures, bosses, whatever, or that, that authoritative voice in your own head, doing what that voice expects you to do. Oh, well, I just need to get a job and I need to have this income and I need to do this. And if I can do that, then that's all my life 
you know, like then I've done what I'm supposed to do. That's the energy I'm trying to say is that the Hierophant is here with a little bit of energy of supposed to do or should. It's kind of like this energy is kind of shoulding you a little bit which again could kind of keep you in just like the planning phase and and it could keep you from actually rolling up your sleeves and being like, you know what, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna start building and I'm gonna start today. Cause here's something interesting. The planning phase is sometimes easier because it's, it feels more for you like this solo activity. Like you can just stay in your house and dream and write in your planner all day long. In order to make this shift, you actually have to potentially collaborate with others. You know, like this could be a much larger structural shift for you. Hierophant is the number five. Fives represent changes. You know, this could be a, a change in the larger umbrella or larger institutional structure or format that you're used to being under. It's like the fool is, is doing a 180. Notice how their backs are to one another. In order to make the shift that you are needing to make in July, you've got to turn your back on this societal structure that perhaps you are used to. And there's something about this this larger structure, maybe a structure for your business or a larger like social norm that you're under, like family structure, relationship structure, um, job structure, whatever that is, that keeps you, like it allows you to stay in your own solo bubble. Whereas this full energy, the new adventure that's await, that awaits you, that you've actually been planning for and dreaming about, is asking you to shift into a more collaborative effort. It is asking you to shift into working with others. Again, the three people as the anchor point. You know, like three is the strongest number. Three is the most flexible. It's the, it's the strongest. It's the, the number of alignment mind, body, spirit. And it's, and so it, this may be asking you to come out of your bubble a little bit. Remember how, um, in the beginning I saw the weaving of the web that could be talking about casting a wider net, like expanding your network from your own solo thing, you doing your own thing in your hermit bubble into expanding your network, into working with others and collaborating with others, which gives you the tools you need to expand. Because again, it's like, if this is you with your animals, I felt this for somebody else, Taurus, maybe earth signs, y'all are getting some similar energy here. Like fire signs, you, all your readings have been pretty similar. Earth signs, your readings are being pretty similar. I'm seeing this hermit energy is just like calm and introspective and in like a slow steady rhythm with your animals everybody's chilling and then all of a sudden the fool comes into the picture this new energy the energy of the call into new adventure and gets everybody all riled up see that suddenly the animals are all excited the dogs are all excited like the the you know the drum is beating now it's picking up pace Virgo, and it's calling you to a new adventure. It's calling you to make this shift. And, and part of that shift, I think, is opening up to collaboration and working together with others and expanding your network. Also part of that collaboration is moving out, taking the, the first big step, because this is the card zero. This is the very first card in the tarot. Taking the big, the, the first hump is the hardest to get over, you know? It's like, pushing you off the cliff's edge to take the first step from the planning and imagining phase into actually starting to put the plans in place and do this and actually build this thing. And again, don't forget the Knight of Swords is here telling you like, yeah, have confidence, go for it, move swiftly, you can do this. And any obstacles that come your way in July, slay, slay, slay. 
that's what that feels like to me. Specifically any obstacles that arise within you that are like fear related. You know, your own demons, dude. <laughs> dude, <laughs> gross. But you know what I mean? Like your own, your own stuff, right? right um, rising up, rearing up, and it's like, slay. Nope. Old structures and societal pressures to do certain things in a normal way. Nope. Old ideas about what I can and cannot do and what is right and what is wrong. Nope. Old belief systems that just aren't serving me any longer and I'm really starting my entire new thing and making it up as I go along. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Virgo, what a reading. So listen, I'm going to take this into an extended reading now. We're going to use some other decks, clarifying decks, oracle decks to pull um, more cards and get clarity on what exactly this reading is talking about in an extended reading. So if you are interested in viewing the extended, click the link in the description box below and follow me over to Patreon. Patreon is an online community I've created for folks who are loving the way I pull cards, want to dive deeper. If that sounds like you, meet me over there. Please read the full description so you know how a patronage works and then I will send you the extended reading for July. Okay, Virgo, thanks for joining me here. Maybe I'll see you on Patreon. Also, if you would like a personal reading, unseenhandshealing.com is the way to go. Check out my personal reading offerings and get in touch. All right, Virgo, happy July. I'll talk to you soon. You need to be slaying things that keep you in indecisive, confusion, intense emotional roller coaster mode. You know, like look at the tossing and turning seas and like the weighing up of options and and it's difficult, you know, it's like the directive here is rather than staying in this place of indecision and confusion and listening to lots of different voices and constantly weighing up your options, right? That's more of the planning phase. That's more of the planning phase and, and July is trying to move you into the doing phase. And in order to do that, you do have to eventually pick one, you know? And that's what the Page of Pentacles has done. They have picked one and committed and gone to it for it. You know, it's like, all right, I'm just going to choose this and go for it and see what happens. <laughs>